<laughs> no. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> How are you? Really, really good, I think. How are you? <laughs> you think. Yeah, I'm okay, I think. <laughs> it kind of feels like that kind of week. So, yeah. <laughs> and um, for our special guest today, Yes. Shall we tell the people what who our special guest is? I think we should tell the people. Okay. It is us. <laughs> <laughs> we are your special guest today. We had um, a last minute change of plans. So Christopher and I are a um, little bit winging it today, but well, we are gonna play a game with each other yeah. um, and also we have no idea how this is gonna go <laughs> no <laughs> could be a total we... travesty <laughs> <laughs> but before we do that maybe we should just check in with each other how are you Late, yeah. lately in my circle there have been this, this like three-point question of check-in before zoom meetings of where is your head where is your heart where's your body how is your head how is your heart how is your body Ooh, those are not easy questions this week. I, and I have to say, now I feel like I'm I'm gonna cry on the view every week. But um, yeah, real, I guess. Yeah, you know, this week has been really sad, and mm. you know, all of the just the violence and the death, and um. You know, the one that's hitting me especially hard is Adam Toledo. Like he was 13, Sophia's 11. Um, and it's just, I, I cannot imagine what his mother is feeling. So um, I've shed quite a few tears over that one this week. It just, I can't, I can't understand it. So um, that's kind of where my heart is. Um, my head is probably roughly in the same. Um, it's just been a really heavy week. Um, and I think as the Derek Chauvin trial comes to a close, like there's just the potential for a lot of things to happen. And I think that that's, that's weighing on my heart as well. Um, and I absorb all that into my body as we all do. So you kind of a mess. Yeah, that's, I'm a kind of a mess. How are, how is your head and heart and body? Oh gosh. To think about myself is like a very dangerous thing. i try to think about other things. <laughs> um, but my head, I will say is in a, in, is in, on, on, I'm getting frequent flyer miles on future trips. <laughs> That's where my head is. My head is like always in the future of what could happen, what might happen, all of that. My heart is in complete overwhelm. I think for all of the reasons you've mentioned and more, I think it relates to, remember last week, ask a theologian asking the question about, you know, what do we do with like, grief like how do we grieve yeah. um and i guess personally for myself i was so glad for michael's um explanation but especially like here we are on a year of this experience of pandemic time and i don't know perhaps for myself i don't know if i properly conditioned myself to like take in all of the information not just with covid but also like the violence that we see and the brutality, how to take it in and process it and like release it or transform it into something yeah. positive or beautiful. Like, I don't feel like um, that is an, enough of our, like our community conversation of how to handle that because mostly we're handling it on our own in our own homes and apartments and with our close little circle. But how do we process that as a community and as a as a group? So totally right there with you. Um, um, and my body is like perhaps in like C's. Is that a is that a term? I think <laughs> maybe Leisha would understand as a dancer, just like <laughs> C's. Like <laughs> you're totally <laughs> um, like kind of bracing myself, you know. I it, I've never had this experience, not even growing up as a young person, but 
recently like i get behind the wheel of a car and especially if i'm driving by myself it's like i'm super careful about every light every turn am i every indicator um because i'm just so nervous about what if i get pulled over you know it's a crazy unhelpful and unfortunate thought to have but but here we are yeah but it's reality i'm yeah. not like that was just yeah that's breaking my heart for you because i love you and there's so many people that i love in my community and you know it's just sorry this is supposed to be a fun view <laughs> what happens when we start talking well as the, the the great little dance song the only way is up you know the only way is up i guess but you know i i will say i do appreciate always appreciate you but also the, the sincerity that you're sharing your thoughts right now. Um, Cause also I'm, I'm realizing I can only take so much of like uh, the surface <laughs> of life experiences um, without knowing what's on the, the bottom of the, the pond of yeah. our, our individual ponds. What's down there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really appreciate just in response to, you know, what you said, I really appreciated in Alicia's message today when she said, you know, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, but basically like life is born of death. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, there's like right now, there's just so much death and then we're grieving and it's sort of this unceasing grieving, you know, but just to think that there is life and like also dovetailing on what we talked about in Ask the Theologian last week, there's resurrection and the resurrection doesn't wipe away all of this stuff. Um, but it, you know, it brings new life. And I, I just like, that's what I, I feel like this week, I'm just longing for that. Like I'm tired of death, you know, mm. but um, yeah, that's where we are. So mm. extremely yeah. vulnerable place, but yeah, you know, it, we'd be crazy people to not acknowledge <laughs> the, the full range of our feelings and those and I think we've shown plenty of joy to <laughs> our church community. We've shown plenty of happiness and joy and for them to see a full range of ourselves too. I, I think it's, I don't know, it makes sense to me. So thank you. people uh, watching in are, are uh, Alice is saying, I appreciate you naming it. And <laughs> Denise is claiming you're a beautiful mess though, Martha. You're <laughs> You, but I am a mess. <laughs> no denying it. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Yeah. Aren't we all? And I think that's like, you know, the work is just pressing into the hope of resurrection and the hope of new life. And that is work, man. Hope is an active thing. It's not just oh my like gosh. a nice, pretty thing, but it is a choice, an active choice that you make all the time. And I think yeah. that for me, I have, I can struggle with that. I can struggle with like choosing hope and not getting like bogged down in the downward spiral of despair. And so yeah. that's why it's I feel like you. That's you're just really you. For me. Only, only you have to deal with that struggle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I personally, I call it run to the sun, like running to the sun, like in, in moments of despair. And, you know, I'm not a very good runner. I get winded very easily. So yeah, trying to run to the joy or run to the hot, the light or face the light. Yeah, that takes effort. But you know, we have to do it because the the alternative is just sad and yeah. and and no one wants to give up and you know we want to demonstrate our courage and our joy and our strength and our resiliency you know to to each other um as encouragement so thank you thank you thank you for demonstrating all of that <laughs> thank you for asking my friend oh i love you so much i can't wait until fuck you i know <laughs> I miss you. And can I say, Blessed Assurance is one of my favorite, favorite hymns. And boy, you knocked it out of the park. Oh, you, boy. I, my friend. One of my favorites. Like if I'm thinking to myself a hymn, that would be one of them. And now I have you in my head singing it. That's the, the best gift you gave to us today. We hadn't seen that before, had we? 
I no, hadn't. That was a new one. That was a new one. Yeah. So, yeah. Good Aww. job. Good Thanks, job. My friend. Love it. <laughs> this is talking to Christopher is like, it's a bomb on my soul. Yes. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I'm looking at the chat. The chai is 20 and wants to get his license. I know this oh. state of bodily seas. Oh, Alicia was listening. I can't explain to you the worry over our our boys. I think, Alicia, you just explained it <laughs> very clearly yeah. and to the point. The Chai, brother, we love you and we pray for your safety, your peace of mind, your God-given right to just be a person in the world <laughs> and be in a car and just do the things that you feel like you want to do and to be able to do it all without judgment without cause of harm and with luxurious abandon you know i pray that for you and i pray that the future holds that for for our brothers and sisters in the world so thank you for sharing that Alicia. thank you um, um, well, we're making a weird pivot now, but I think oh. <laughs> it's a pivot. <laughs> we need to run to the sun. And so <laughs> to the sun. <laughs> that is what we are doing today. So friends, we are, thank you for um, joining us if you're still on. Um, <laughs> and if you left us, that, we totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> after my mini therapy session, if you left, we're totally fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we are playing a game called How Well Do You Know Your Co-Host? <gasps> and I know. So also Christopher and I really love each other. So if we don't answer these questions correctly, <laughs> really no judgment on our relationship. <laughs> this is just what we could come up with last minute. <laughs> so um, we are going to ask each other questions um, and the other person has to answer. How do I, I can't even explain this. My brain is a jump pump. So like I would ask Christopher, you know, what is my favorite color? And then he would have to answer. Um, and you as the, um, you know, our audience can pipe in in the chat, in. but not Brian. Brian, you can't answer <laughs> any of the questions. He's going to walk over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you can certainly help us if we get stuck. Um, we are trying to sort of ask each other things that maybe we've talked about on the view so people would generally might generally know and remember so um so that is what we're doing today and it could be a hot mess but we are ready for it <laughs> this is called open-hearted sharing right here <laughs> who wants to go first should we rock paper scissors <laughs> yeah let's do it ready rock paper scissors Oh, I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh that means Ask me, you're going first. Oh, I go first? Wait a minute. Does that mean I go first? <laughs> I'll go first. Um Okay, um here's here's a question. What is one of my hobbies? Um as I would say dancing, but that's also your profession. So I don't know if we say that's one of your hobbies, but I'm going to go with cooking. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. I wish I was making dinner, <laughs> chicken dinner tonight. Of course, I love to cook. Yes. Oh my gosh, my favorite days are like waking up in the morning and going, oh, what can I make for dinner <laughs> tonight? The best. And then you think about it all day and plan it out. And by the time it's made, you can actually, I mean, it's like all day you can taste it. That's like my favorite. favorite, favorite, favorite. So. Like what, what's in the fridge? Like having put my feet on the ground, it's like, oh, it's in the fridge and what can we make for dinner? <laughs> I love that. I love it. All right. Um, this, let's see. I think you'll notice. What is my dream business to open? Oh. Well, I would say it's going to be something to deal with a, a, a bakery and like making people eat food. <laughs> yes! I think all of our questions are going to have to do with food because that's basically all we talk about. On the <laughs> it's a very good go to thing. I think we've sent each other some recipes, you know, over the time, you know, yeah. sharing, sharing is caring. 
Yeah. Um, here's one. Uh, what's one place that I would love to travel in the world? Mm. <laughs> Just going to be a guess. I'm going to go with Japan. <laughs> there is no wrong answer because I would love to go everywhere in the world. But if it's based on um, like previous um, Italy is a place that I've never been. Oh, I would love to right. go. Because we talked about the pasta. Yeah, and um, and like one of my fascinations is uh, uh, Italian movies. I don't know any movie that's set in Italy. I just like gravitate towards it. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure you've seen Cinema Paradiso. <sighs> good the best and the soundtrack to that movie. oh yeah Ennio Morricone he's like the best film soundtrack composer oh my god yeah I love that movie if you've not seen Cinema Paradiso go see it so that we have something to talk about when <laughs> I see you face to face we have nothing else to talk about except that so Cinema Paradiso yeah okay okay next question yeah. um if I was an ice cream topping, which one would I be? We did this oh. one recently. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. Is it cookie crumbles? Is it? No. Oh. Magic shell. Oh, Carol said yes. oh my shell. gosh, now I remember. The like hard, like I'm yeah. pumping the shell. Yes. Isn't it amazing how it just solidifies? Oh gosh, I don't know what chemical <laughs> it is. It's not real food. <laughs> it's <laughs> not natural. It's like the popcorn movie butter. Who knows <laughs> what it is? <laughs> but yummy, yummy. Yep. I love it. Um, okay, here's uh, uh, my last one. And... Um, Hopefully an easy one, but what is one of my favorite flavors? Like favorite flavors. I will eat anything with this flavor. Sweet or savory? Um, oh, neither. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's usually more for sweets, but it's a very, it's, a, it's quite a juxtaposition. I'm uh, telepathizing to you right now. I know. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. I don't know. Water is the only thing I can think of. Water. <laughs> if it were, if it were lemon flavored water, yes. <laughs> lemon is one of my favorite oh. flavors of anything. I love lemon on pasta. I love, this is why it's a juxtaposition because it's not sweet or it's not savory. It's like <laughs> very tart. Oh, yes. But I love lemon cake. I love lemon in pasta. I love lemon chicken. I love lemon rice. I love the flavor of lemon. I don't. I don't think I knew that. And now ah. you, I have the best lemon yogurt cake recipe. I'm going to make it for you. And it's delicious. Oh my gosh. I love, Christine loves lemon too. Oh, it's yeah. not peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> but peanut butter is also a good one because it is kind of peanut sweet butter. and salty. Good job, yeah. Julia. That was a good, yeah, you guys are better than I am. Water. <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> like? Water flavor. Because that's a flavor. <laughs> Okay, last question. Um, what I don't actually know that we've talked about this, so I'm just okay. interested to see what your answer is. Okay. What is my favorite meal? Um, do you mean time of day or actual? No, actual food product item. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Like, I think, like, I'm doing some mental Sherlocking and, like, putting together past conversations and trying to, like, I, I want to say, I want to say it's, this is going to sound crazy, something soft. <laughs> <laughs> but that could be anything. Um, I don't know how to process that. That's like water. <laughs> 
likes water flavored and I like soft meals. <laughs> also, I sound like I don't have teeth. And I need to <laughs> <laughs> um and the, the like indian dishes come to mind but i don't think that's quite rice right other than the idea of like something that's aromatic and something that's flavorful mm. so aromatic and flavorful is what i will lead with is that in the ballpark well it actually was a trick question because i don't have a favorite meal because oh. there's so much good food in the world so basically anything you would have said would have been fine except oh. So you said one thing that is not fine, but anything else would work. Well, your trick question, yeah, sort of like my trick question. I'd love to go to Japan. I'd love to go everywhere in the world. So, you know, there's no limit to that. So yeah. there's no limit to your your food preferences. I love it. Yeah. No, I really, like, I don't eat shellfish. But beyond that, like, I am a very open and adventurous eater. So I've eaten, um, actually, I don't even know that I've eaten a lot of weird things. What do you, what do you think, like, is that, I think weird is a judgmental word, but yeah. outside of maybe our mainstream culture, what do you think is the most unusual thing that you have actually eaten? Um, I... So I went to Sydney, I have a friend in Sydney, and he took us to a very authentic, like, um, indigenous restaurant, and I kind of block it out. But I can't remember if he said what I just put in my mouth was alligator or kangaroo. I can't remember only because as soon as he said it, I was like, <laughs> I can't think about it. But whatever it was, it was in Sydney, Australia, in a in a restaurant where right where there, and it was some animal that's like native to the the country. Um, this is absolutely no judgment on any sort of food preferences. Um, it's I'm being very open minded, but it was a moment where I was like, I'm not used to this. <laughs> Do you and, remember what it tasted like, or did you block it? <laughs> it tastes like chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I had frog legs once, and you know how people have said, had said to me, oh, it tastes like chicken. And I was like, no, it tastes like a frog. <laughs> it can taste swampy. Like, That's not how a chicken tastes, people. <laughs> I love it. I, I'd like to think that I would be open-minded and, like, try – um very in uh, you know in you know very uh culturally specific foods i think bugs might like be like a, a thing where i'm like i don't know i can eat a cricket or i don't know thing like that so anyway i have gone on record stating that i might or might not have eaten kangaroo i hope PETA <laughs> does not like <laughs> Come after me! I was just being social. <laughs> social and, and hungry. Really open and totally. didn't order it, so it's okay. <laughs> I love it. So I'm taking it. Frog's legs was your most. Oh, you know, I've also had um, beef heart in Peru, which is um, that's also sort of a, a, um, a delicacy or something that's like very okay. very common. Yeah. Um, and it actually is fine. I'm not like an organ meats kind of person, but it was fine. And then like the first few bites I remember were fine. I was like in a fancy restaurant. Um, and then it just, I started thinking of a cow and then I actually couldn't finish it, which is so unlike me. But um, I was much, much younger. I think I could eat it now and not feel as like stressed about it. But um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. What is there something so is there something that you regret not trying when you have been traveling somewhere like you were too anxious about it but then now looking back you're like dang it I wish I would have tried that nope if if it's set before me I will eat it obviously <laughs> my story of being in Sydney um obviously no I I may have regrets and other things but with food no I will definitely give it a go Although, um, you know, we're very food compatible. I will, I don't eat shrimp as far as like shellfish because I'm allergic. Mm. Um, but lobster and crab, I love those tastes. So yummy, so yeah. yummy. So, yeah. but we're somewhat compatible as far as like, as far as like shellfish. But yeah, nothing I regret not eating because I will, I will try it all, you know. How about you? 
There's one thing, and it's going to gross people out, and that's fine. Um, in also in like Ecuador and Peru, sort of South America, it's very common to eat something called gui, which is um, uh, a guinea pig that they, you know, roast up and eat. And like on the street, you can find them like skewered with a stick and then they've been like roasted over a pit. So it's like the full guinea pig. So it's like this, you know, with its head on um, and people just eat them. And I just couldn't like wrap my mind around it. Um, and I don't know what it would taste like, but it's one of those things where it's, it's like fairly common. And so I kind of regret not just doing it while I was there because yeah. like, that would be frowned upon in the U.S. to like go yeah. to PetSmart and be like, oh, I'm going to pick up a guinea pig for dinner. So like, yeah. So I, like yeah. I lost my chance until the next time. Oh, I until the next time you go. No, <laughs> if it's offered, I think. Uh, I guess I'm clarifying here. Like I've never eaten an eyeball. I've never, I have eaten tongue. I've not eaten brain, but it was not offered to me. So it, does, it, it, does that mean anything? If it's offered to me, I definitely will give it a try. Even an um, eyeball? And, and, eyeball? I don't think I could do the texture of an eyeball. Yeah, it hasn't been offered yet. So thank goodness I'm, I'm I think I'm okay. <laughs> I love it. I haven't looked in the chat. Are people freaked out by our conversation? Well, this is something I knew about Leon that she's in love with lemon too. Like I, I knew, you know, I think we might join, have a club of the lemon club, lemon lovers. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, recipes. <laughs> Leon, we can definitely share recipes. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Denise said, so if you're offered an eyeball, she wants to know if you're going to eat it. I think I, I think, you know, situationally, I'll have to like be in that moment, but I think I would give it a try. I think if someone were knew what they were doing as far as like how they prepared it, but if it were just like a random sort of like, you know, on the street sort of thing, it's like, look what I found. <laughs> I don't think I would go for it. <laughs> Does it matter where the eyeball came from? Like what kind of creature? I mean, yes and no. It's, I mean, I, I'm only imagining, I think my imagination only goes so far. Like, I guess like cows or bulls or something. I have not heard of a goat eyeball yet <laughs> or a fish eyeball yet. <laughs> Oh, but fish cheeks are supposed to be a real delicacy. Yeah, like, yeah. Underneath the fish thing. Yeah. Yeah. We got to cook together sometime. I know. <laughs> you, have you guys been vaccinated? Yes. Both of you? Dos. <gasps> dos for dos. So, ah, yeah. Me too. So, next time you're in the city, come over for dinner. Bring Lou because no one <laughs> And, and bring well, our masks still. Yes, yes. So. We're still in a precautionary stage. For yeah, sure. for sure. But yeah, and maybe that could be something we we film and share with others. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> the, uh, the view cooks together. That would be super fun. Yeah, we could cook dinner together. I love I'm it. <laughs> I'm down. I'm for it. I want it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so last question, just um, for my own <clears throat> curiosity, I see that you are in your home upstate, yeah. what um, are you guys doing kind of moving forward in terms of city versus upstate? Like I know some of your work is going to be in person in the city soon, I would assume. Yeah, we assume theater is still on a, on a slow trudge back to life, although things are, are starting to emerge. Um, but we are here, I mean, not to give too much away, but uh, we, we expect to be mostly here through the summer. Okay. Um, and then when fall comes along, we'll kind of see what the tide brings. But for the most part, I think we'll be mostly here um, with visits to the city during the summertime. So expect to see us at some picnic or some church outing or gathering we're in your kitchen, Martha. My kitchen, for sure. We'll definitely Yeah, have. Yeah. Or come to this kitchen, Martha, would you? 
I would actually, because your kitchen's probably bigger than this kitchen. So <laughs> this kitchen is maybe like a a, a three butt kitchen. It's <laughs> okay, mine's two max. So our, our kitchen in in New York is a one butt kitchen. <laughs> so gotcha. so you're at a real upgrade here. <laughs> I <have> two butts. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would love that. Anytime you invite me, I will happily come. So, honey, it's an open invitation. Uh, you and Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> would love, I love it. it. I love it. Well, wow. it's been such a joy. This actually has, I know, I think I've said this before on The View, but whenever I get to just talk to you, I totally forget that we're on like a YouTube. I know. <laughs> we kind of like. <laughs> talking to my friends. So. And, there, and there are other people <laughs> who are watching and listening and hopefully in, enjoying and, and feeling inspired um, as you inspire me. So oh, thank you for being friend. a friend. <laughs> Oh, I love you so much. I love you too. And we love you, St. Peter's family. And we Yay. miss you. And we're waiting for the day when we can see you all in person. Yes. You hugs. Enjoy so, your day. Be everyone. safe. Yes. Be wise. Enjoy the picnicking. We miss you all. Yay. Bye. 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 Ole, 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 ole.